What's up, everybody? This is The Report Card, episode 15. I'm Dustin. And I'm Ulysses. In The Report Card, we're bringing you the latest in movies, music, and any other random thing we want to bring your way. What we're bringing your way this week is Don't Mess With Zohan. Also, Wanderlust by Gavin Rosdale. Our word of the week. And plenty of viewer comments. So, this is Don't Mess With Zohan. He is the greatest Israeli soldier the world has ever known. His training is lethal. And his skills are legendary. You're like Rembrandt with a grenade. But it was time for a change. I wanted to leave the army. I love my country, but if fighting... When does it end? They've been fighting for 2,000 years. It can't be much longer. What will you do? I want to cut and style hair. <laughs> this summer, he's leaving it all behind. Where are you from, anyway? Australia. Really? Because you sound Middle Eastern. No, 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 no. Similar accents. Kangaroo. Entering a new world. <laughs> you shouldn't jump around when this nice woman's holding sharp scissors. She might cut your ear off on accident. Pursuing his dream. You have never cut hair before. I will do whatever it takes. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Skitzel, let's cut your hair. I love it. Soul's next. Now. Would you just get us to the hair salon? What is big deal about this hair place anyway? His old life. You're an Israeli counter-terrorist? No, 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 no. He is catching up with them. I come here to start new life. Get new woman to love and make the bang boom. We will capture. We will be heroes. Welcome to Hezbollah phone line. For terrorist supplies, press one. Adam Sandler is... The Zohar! You don't mess with the Zohar. <laughs> don't mess with the Zohar. This is Adam Sandler's new flick. Calm down. I'm not, it's all right. This is Adam thing. Sandler's new flick, Don't Mess With the Zohan. Who's in it? Um, like always, he brought in John Torturo playing the Phantom. John's been in Mr. Deeds, Anger Management, Transformers. Uh, also, you've got Nick Swartzen, one of my favorite comedians from Reno 911, Blades of Glory. Uh, Rob Schneider, Deuce Bigelow and Hot Chick. And also, the very, very lovely, incredibly delicious Emmanuel Cherik from The O.C. and Entourage. Wait, what time is it? It's disco time! You do! I'm all hot and bothered right now. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. So, Adam Sandler's new movie has the same cast as always, same crew, very funny crew, Rob Schneider, all of them. This is how this movie starts. Adam Sandler is the badass counter-terrorist of Israel. Everyone loves him. He's loved throughout the whole entire country. He is the man. He is so badass, his dick could kill you. Yes. He eventually has a dream where he, for the rest of his life, wants to cut and style hair. He wants to make people silky smooth. <laughs> so he fakes his death with his counter, other counter-terrorists from the Palestine group, the Phantom, moves to America, hoping to pursue his dream at Paul Mitchell, which fails, so he ends up in a Palestinian little hair cuttery shop, where he works his way up from a sweeper boy to the hairstylist he is now, pleasuring multitudes of old nasty women. Wonderful. Wonderful. So what's, uh, what's your thoughts on this movie? Um, like, you know, we, we were standing in line in an abnormally long line. I, I didn't think anyone was going to go see the movie, and I was telling you, dude, I was like, you know what, this movie's gonna suck so freaking bad because the trailer made it look so freaking stupid. I agree. You know? The trailer, there were its cheesy parts. It did look like it could be bad, but there's a lot of humor that you don't yes. see in the trailer. It yeah. is a very funny movie. There's a lot of... It's mostly kind of like uh, like they're playing around for the whole movie. Like it, None of it was actually staged or written. Like It's just all felt very funny natural. games. Yeah, very, very natural. natural. It flowed very well. So, like I said, I was, I was thinking I was gonna hate it. I ended up liking it a lot. Yeah, I liked it too. Yeah. And you know what? There was a positive message in the whole thing. It was promoting peace 
Yes, it was very promoting much. peace in a very funny, abstract type of way. Most definitely. So, what do you give it as far as grade wise goes? So, um, I think everyone should go see it. It is a family friendly movie if you're going to go <laughs> with your kids. Somewhat family friendly. <laughs> Uh, I give it an A. I thought it was another notch on Adam Sandler's belt he could add. It's, very, it's a good movie. It was, it was funny. And it, it relates nice. to what's going on in today's world. It was good. No, most definitely. I give it a B. It wasn't an A, but definitely a strong B. You guys should go check that out. Check it out. Moving on. Wanderlust by Gavin Rosdale. Okay. Or Mr. Gwen Stefani. Mr. Gwen Stefani. This dude just disappeared. I, you guys will know him from Bush back in the 90s. 16 Stones, you know, glycerine mouth. All, all, all those things. He was amazing back then. He was a drug addict, which is horrible, but he wrote good music. His band was awesome. One of the best artists of his day, and now he comes back as a whining bitch. <laughs> Sir. Wow, how do you really feel about Gavin Rosdale? Well, what do you think? <laughs> I, I think, well, first of all, look, Gavin Rosdale has always been a whining little bitch, but in a good way, because I've always liked his music. But now he's an emo bitch. <laughs> There's nothing emo about this album. Okay, well, it was horrible. There's only one song. Uh, what was that song? Uh, Love uh, Remains. It's only a decent yeah. track that you can listen to. Yeah. And this is Love Remains. See, that's the only thing I could stomach, was that. I, I mean, that's the only thing. You're, you're brutal, dude. Well, I'm sorry, the, the other song, uh, Beauty and the Beast, which is the other thing I think, it's like a Be rock ballad. Beauty and the, it's, Beauty it's in, horrible. Beauty in the Beast was, Beauty in the was pretty horrible. horrible. Was the freaking rest of the horrible. Songs, there's no one about people in the hills, in the war. He tries to sing one song about the war, like everybody's doing that, come on. Yeah, well look, I disagree. I, thought, I, w I didn't think it was the best album, I didn't think it was the worst album. I, I certainly thought it was an okay album. It's definitely something yeah. that he could build a solo career on, maybe get better. You know why it. no one knows about it? Because it sucks. All right, so. Just let Gwen make all the money, okay? <laughs> Moving on. Brutal. To well, you never give it a grade. Never give it a grade. F, of course. Listen Oof. to my review. It's an F. I, I give it a C. Give it a C. Moving on to our word of the week. The week of the word. The word of the week. Mr. Condosaur here will present the word. Let's bring it up here on the PC. Mac. PC Mac, man. We are not a PC-friendly <laughs> show. Cuddle lingus. Uh, it's the act of cuddling, spooning, or snuggling. No, it isn't. It's the act of going down on somebody. No, that's cunnilingus. It's, man, it's that stuff. <laughs> that's cunnilingus. Oh, cu I hope oh, you blur that. Oh, oh, oh. I hope you blur that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no, it's cuddle lingus. It's kind of a... Uh, a way like, of incorporating like both words I, together. Yes. Like spooning? Yes. No, Would you I, like I'm to? I'm not spooning. You're not a spooner? I'm a forker. We'll do it after the show. Fernando, I'm a forker. you want to spoon with me after the show? Fernando. Yes. <laughs> I love you, Fernando. I would love to, sir. Yay, I got a spooner. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a forker. A forker <laughs> We're probably going to get some comments back on that. Yeah, but we'll anyway, make them here's our user, I mean viewer, comments and feedback. Um, this comes from Sarah G. And it's, uh, it's good to see the beginning of the results of all the hard work. I know you guys have put into it. Uh, you guys are great in front of the camera. And of course, as I've said before, super cute. Smiley face. Uh, the editing is pretty cool too. Uh, I recommend doing a review on Tokyo Police Club because they're a great brand in my opinion. So who was that? Tokyo Police Club. This no, was from who's Sarah G. Sarah? Sarah, Sarah G. G. Well, thank you for complimenting us. I know I look good. <clears throat> Uh, we're going <laughs> to review Tokyo Police Club next week. I, I do like them. I, I'm going to introduce them to him. I never have, so we'll and check that out. Thank you very much for writing in. Now, we want more people. We need to know what you want to see, what's going on. Send us video clips, anything. Just get back to us. Let us know what you want to do and what you want to see. If you want to ask us a question, anything, email us at the link below. Say the link below. The guys at Collegio.com. Also, hit us up on our Twitter. The guy at, uh, that is the guys K at uh, Twitter and hit us up there, become yeah. our friend, Twitter friend us, follow us, that one night. We're getting in the Twitter game now. So, everybody, end of the week, end of the show. Later. This is our review. Peace. You like that Emmanuel? Emmanuel. Oh, damn. I think I just farted. <laughs> <laughs>